Hey guys, what's up? It's August749 here, back with another video for you guys today. Alright, so today I will be showing you guys how to get homebrew on your Wii. Now this homebrew channel is a very popular channel. It allows you to do multiple various different things, from playing DVD on your Wii, which is a big feature that lots of people would like. That saves you the money of buying a DVD player ever again. You can just play it off your Wii. You can also hack games. You can play your own apps on Homebrew. You can get game emulators and maybe play a Game Boy game or maybe play something silly like Nintendo 64. You can play anything you want practically. Homebrew channel is a very big popular channel and I recommend that everybody should get it. Now let's start off here. There are three things that you guys need but before I get there I need to let you guys know something. Homebrew, there is like a tiny, tiny chance that you could screw up your Wii by doing this. Like extremely tiny, like 1% or less. It happens to no one. I'm just letting you know this because they warn you about it with Homebrew. Uh, and I just don't want to happen to anybody that wasn't okay with maybe the tiny, tiny chance. Now, you guys can always fix it, but... I, I've never had my Wii screwed up, so I don't know what's going on here. I've installed the Homebrew channel like 10 different times. Uh, I've never uninstalled it actually, so the fact that I've done it 10 times is alright. I don't know how to uninstall the Homebrew channel, but there's got to be a way. Don't worry about it. I'm just showing you guys how to install it. Alright, so the three things you guys are going to need is a PC that can read SD cards. Whether that's you have a USB plug-in that converts an SD to a USB port, so that way you can read the SD card on your PC. Next thing that you need is a SD card that is less than two gigabytes. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. It's pretty cheap. You can get maybe a couple hundred meg one, like maybe 200 megabytes or something, and maybe that's two dollars or three dollars. I I have no idea. They're really cheap nowadays. You can get a one gigabyte SD card for maybe five or ten. I I really couldn't tell you. And the last thing you guys need is a Wii with the 4.3 firmware on it. Uh, you can do 4.3 U, E, J, or K. U is for United States, E is for Europe, J is for Japan, and K, I, I'm pretty sure, is for Korea. No idea about that, but you know what? Just letting you guys know that. All right, so it's time to get to the tutorial. Here we go. Step one. Get on your Wii and go to your Wii system menu. From there, verify the date and select Wii Options. Go to your Wii settings. Verify that you indeed do have version 4.3 or a different 4.3 version. Toggle to the second page and select Internet. Here, select Console Information. Here lies your MAC address. Write this down. You will need it later. Step 2. On your PC, you need to open up your SD card. Make sure that it is completely empty. If there are any important files on it, please back them up. Now it's time to go to the link in the description. Here it will take you to this site, Letterbomb. Please select your system menu version, whether it's 4.3U, E, J, or K. Enter your MAC address, and then make sure also that the bundle, the hack me installer for me button is clicked. That option needs to be clicked or else this will not work. Type in the CAPTCHA words and make sure that you've got them spelled correctly. Cut the red wire or cut the blue wire. If it says, are, if it asks you, are you a human? Make sure that your URL bar is correct. HTTP colon slash slash please dot hack me dot com slash. The me is with a double I. Download Letterbomb and then move it to your desktop. Here, extract it to the Letterbomb folder. Open up that Letterbomb folder. Inside this folder are two important files. One of them is under many, many folders, which is in the private, but you need to move the private folder and the boot.elf file to your SD card, the root of your SD card. I prefer copying them. That's what I recommend you do. Now, it's time to visit your Wii. Step 3. 
Get on your Wii, insert your SD card, and go to your Wii system menu. Go to your Wii system message board and back up one day. There should be a red message with a bomb and an SD card on it. Click it. If this page does show up, then you have done something correctly. If it does not, there might be an error or your Wii might have froze. Here is a little warning message by HackMe. This software must not be sold, neither alone nor as part of a bundle. If you paid for this software or received it as part of a bundle following payment, you have been scammed and should demand your money back immediately. For further details, see the following link. Alright, so a little one button should come up shortly, eventually after you see this and you press one. Now follow what I do. Click continue to start. Currently I already have the homebrew channel but I'll be reinstalling it for you guys anyway. Then scroll all the way up to install the homebrew channel. Hit yes continue. It should install and the period should fill up that side. Hit continue. Scroll down to boot me and hit install boot me as an iOS. Yes continue. Yes, continue. Continue. Now you can return to the main menu. As you guys will see, what this does is it brings up the homebrew channel for you. Now on your home menu, the homebrew channel is available. I will currently launch boot me just to show you guys what it does. At the moment, I forget how to navigate boot me. I'm pretty sure that it involves the reset button and the power button, but at the moment, I'm not quite sure. Thanks guys for watching, and that is how you guys get the Humber channel. Alright guys, just if you're interested, on my screen right now is my How to Hack Wii Games tutorial. Watch it, comment, rate, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.